Morgellons Phase 2 has been implemented. About six months ago, it was rolled out slowly at first, and now it's picking up steam as we speak. You've probably heard in the news this mysterious virus out in California that the authorities are blaming on the wildfires. Well, the word is getting around. Many people suspect it is indeed Morgellons. We can call this phase two or the second generation Morgellons, depending on who you talk to. I mean, some people could call this phase three, phase two. It doesn't really matter because some of the first experiments were failures. So we're not going to get into semantics. All we know for a fact is in California, the outbreak is getting stronger in this phase two. As I said before, the officials cover story they're blaming it on the fires. I mean, they must stay up late at night thinking up these excuses. <laughs> they really are pathetic. Well, anyhow, like I said, many of you have already heard of this latest Morgellons outbreak in California recently. Well, I have my own personal story to add to this that relates, it relates to this uh, phase two implementation. As many of you know, I was in California about four months ago. That's where I started my big Route 66 trip, going across the country. I started it in California. I spent about three days out there, and apparently that was just long enough to be exposed and infected. Now, many of you might be saying, well, what the hell are you talking about? What about that special diet you told us about, remember? We'll go, if you haven't heard about that special diet, I made a video on it. We'll go into that later. Well, here's what happened. When you go on a trip, see, I drove across the country, spent about three days in California. To make a long story short, I did not bring the food that I should have been eating, the seaweed, the brown rice, the beans, the sea salt. I could not bring it with me. It's too hard to prepare when you're on a trip. So like I said, to make a long story short, I was exposed and infected when I was in California for the three days. Now, this was about four months ago. Turns out that, like I said, they rolled this phase two out about six months ago. And that's what's wrong with the official cover story that they're putting out today, that all these people who are getting rashes is coming from the fire. The problem with their cover story is many of us were infected before these recent fires. Okay, so like I said, I was not able to eat my special diet, what you know, we call it the, uh, the natural trilateral commission diet. Uh, like I said, I'll show you the uh, video on that later. I won't show the video, but I'll show you how to find it. Now here's, the, the, now my hands, I'm gonna show you pictures of my hands just recently in the last couple of days. They're much, much better. I can tell you that on my trip, when I caught, when I was exposed to this live bioengineered nanofungal technology that we call Morgellons, more on that, more on that later, because you got to remember they have thousands of different versions being created in the lab as we speak. But anyhow, my main point is this: during my trip which started about four months ago and lasted for three months, this rash on my hands was pretty bad. It itched like crazy, stinging sensation, and it lasted until I got back home and I was able to start the diet again. It never went away. Lucky for me, I had some lingering immunity. I see, here's, my, here's the video. If you want to find the video on how to get the correct diet to remove these fibers from your body, this is the video you want to see. So luckily for me, I had some lingering immunity build up in my body. And, uh, but even though I was not able to eat the special diet, it, it only affected my hands. But it stayed there the entire three months I was away. I was not in a, at the time, I was not totally aware of what it was. I knew it was some sort of biofungal it was okay let's go into that 
Okay, what are we actually dealing with here in phase two, second generation? What we're dealing with here is a live bioengineered nanofungal technology, but, but it's not only dealing with funguses. They didn't just take the, like, think of this. Imagine a relentless athlete's foot fungus, which has been bioengineered with nano-enhanced technology in a laboratory. But here it gets worse. It's not just the fungus. They see they could take your relentless athlete's foot in a laboratory, and they go in there and they do their synthetic bioengineering, and you know it's way above you and I's heads. But remember this: it is alive. We've ta we've talked about this. This thing, this cre this critter is alive. But it's not just with fungus. They also do it with bacteria. And as I said, they have thousands of different versions that they are creating in the lab as we speak. It is scary. Itches like crazy, stinging sensation, and uh, ooh, unbelievable. But let's get back on track here. Well, like I said, on my three-month trip, uh, you might be thinking, how did I not know what it was? Like I said, it was a lot worse than this. This is just, uh, it's been going away. As I've been able to eat the diet in the last few weeks since I've been back, it's now much, much better. Uh, the, they're being killed and they're being eliminated from the body. But here's the thing. For the most part, in phase two, second generation, you need a microscope to really see these critters. And who has a high-powered microscope just laying around? I didn't. So for three months, I wasn't really sure what it was. I mean, I'm not going to go to a doctor on my trip. And, okay, remember in phase one, they were bigger, and they, they glowed under an ultraviolet light, too. That was the thing. Now, I'm not sure on phase two, the second generation, I'm not sure if these fibers are going to glow under a UV light or not. We'll have to um, check out, we'll have to do some experimenting. In phase one, the first ones, they glowed a red and blue fluorescent under a UV light. You need a microscope to uh, see them. So anyhow, that's the reason why during my trip I didn't realize what I had. But, but here's, the, here's the beautiful part. As soon as I got home, as soon as I got on this natural trilateral commission diet, I got that seaweed in my body. I got that iodine cooking, pumping, hey. Started, they started to die immediately, being eliminated from the body. So that is the good news. Yes, the good news, there's some more good news. The good news in this phase two, the more gallon fiber, it's, it's a smaller version. And it's also easier to excrete from the body with this special diet. That's one thing that the uh, elite masters and the bankers wanted to make sure when they when they implemented phase two, where it was going to be a, it was going to be a stronger, faster fiber. Remember, we're dealing here with a live bioengineered technology, and it can this new version can replicate faster. As I say, it's smaller, it's stronger, it replicates faster. Remember, these babies are alive and they replicate. That's why this diet is so important. You need to get these, you need to kill these bots. You need to get that immunity built up in your body from the iodine and the seaweed. Do you, here's, a, here's something to think about. You know what's popping up on the East Coast recently? In Connecticut, where a lot of the bankers live, okay? Listen to this. Guess what's popping up in Connecticut on the East Coast where the bankers, you, you guessed it, seaweed farms. Yes. These bankers want fresh, organic seaweed, and they've got people now who are farming the seaweed right there in their backyard. These people know what they're doing. Trust me. This is, you could go, go get that, get on that diet, and get on it immediately. I've started. To, like I said, this is my own personal story, because, quite frankly, you know, it's a shame. It's a shame that I did not take all the ingredients with me on the road and I should have prepared the diet and I wouldn't have had to, to go through that because let me tell you something this rash 
itches like crazy. I've said it stings, it's painful, it's embarrassing. Okay, let's talk about something else, the smart dust. Because a lot of people are wondering, how are we being infected? How are we being exposed? Now, like I said, they, they're working on thousands of different versions in the laboratory, not only, not only the bioengineered enhanced funguses, but also bacteria. They're working on, you know, water, you know, waterborne. I mean, you, you can uh, be exposed to water, but we're going to focus right now on the, the smart dust. Because you can spray this, you know, with the chemtrails, it can be sprayed in selected areas, you know, they let loose this live bio nano fungal critter and it's designed once you're infected and you're exposed they can track your every move of course the cia and the mossad they can neither confirm nor deny the existence of any of these top secret technologies but i think i need to briefly talk about this if you you need to research this some more we're talking chemtrails smart dust technology uh, the laboratory constantly creating stronger versions but the main thing is that there has to be an antidote the people at the top have to be able to get it out of the system, out of their system quickly, kill it on the spot. I'm not going to go into that uh, natural trilateral diet anymore. I've, you know, beat a dead horse on there. Please go take a look. So, okay, let's summarize. I don't want to bore you to death with too much information. Bottom line is, in the last few months, the they this has been unleashed in California. I believe it was uh, started about six months ago. They rolled it out slowly, and now it's picking up steam. The official cover story with all the people in California who are getting this rash, they say, oh, you're getting it from the fire. I mean, does anybody actually really believe that? I mean, a lot of people won't even go to the doctor. They'll suffer, hoping it goes away. And like I said, who has a microscope laying around to look very closely at this new second-generation fiber which is synthetic it's bioengineered it's so small most people don't have the uh, microscope now here's the thing when we're dealing with these chemtrails and the smart dust it's not only impeding our visibility of the beautiful blue sky above but it's also as this stuff is descending on us and we're breathing it in and it, it's also causing brain fog you've heard of that I mean, not only is this stuff itching like crazy, it's killing people, it's stinging, sensation, embarrassing, but it's, our, it causes brain fog. You don't think properly. That's very important because what's it all about? Not only is it in our, to track our every move, they want to keep you submissive, weak, depressed. They want you to have a sense of hopelessness. So these damn elite bastards can do as they please. It's working. And that's, that's what really makes me upset. Their plan is working for the most part. So many of our brothers and sisters out there, their immune systems are weak. Like I said, they're depressed, submissive, and they, they have a sense of hopelessness. We really need to get on that diet. Kill these bastards and remove them from our body and move on so like i said we'll end this this was my own personal story i don't like to really talk about this too much and you know beating a dead horse i mean i've already made a video on it you know you follow the diet and you'll be good but unfortunately this is a personal story that hopefully you can learn a lesson from what i did if you're going to take a trip across the country, take a trip anywhere, make sure you bring the ingredients with you. Seaweed, the sea salt, or you can even get the, uh, the better Himalayan salt. You need that iodine with the brown rice. You need to take it with you on trips. I learned a valuable lesson. Had I brought the ingredients with me, uh, I would not have had that rash. And I would not have had to suffer for three months. But the good news is it works.
I got back home. I'm, I know I'm, I've said this a million times. It's dying. It's going away. And anyhow, this is my own personal story. I wanted to share it because I think it's important.